hi guys welcome back so i don't want to make this intro too long so um this is the look that i filmed for you guys today i definitely loved how it turned out um let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys want to see next also don't forget to like this video and subscribe and with that said um let's go ahead and get on to the video and if you guys enjoy what you see just go ahead and stay tuned Alrighty guys, so I know I'm really up close and personal, but I think this is how I'm going to film my tutorials now. I think I'm going to have one eye already done and I'm just going to work on one of them. I'm kind of liking this up close and personal look so you guys actually know what I'm actually doing. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it, but um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get on to this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and start off with this shade called Peach Smoothie. From Makeup Geek and I'm just gonna as always use this as a transition shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and take any blending brush all right so after peach smoothie I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade red ochre from the modern renaissance palette in the crease and in the outer corner. And also make sure you show some love into the inner corner as well. So once we have red ochre down, we want to go ahead and take another red-ish shade and I'm going to go in this Mortify, Mortify, <laughs> this Morphe 35B palette and I'm going to take just a little bit of this red right here. Apply this red as well, same place, just to make it a little more, you know, red. So I'm going to go ahead and take this Sigma Blending E25 brush. It's just a little more thinner because I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here and it is called Bitten by Makeup Geek. And it's just a really deep kind of reddish purpley shade. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this color and I'm going to go right into the crease. And we're just putting this color right below it into that socket and really blend that color out. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with this Makeup Geek pigment and it's in the shade Insomnia. And then I'm going to take just this small kind of flat brush and I'm going to Spray some Fix Plus on it. And I'm going to go into the pigment. And I'm just going to apply this all over the lid. Alright, and once I have that... On. I'm gonna go ahead and take this um, Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop and this is in the shade Mittens and then I'm just gonna use any synthetic haired brush and take Mittens and just pack this color in the very 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 outer corner And then I'm going to take these Iconic Lashes from House of Lashes. And as always, I will be using my House of Lashes glue. My 
my face is already prepped and primed so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to foundation and I'm gonna be using this for Makeup Forever HD stick And for concealer today, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. Sorry guys, my camera did die, but y'all already know how to blend out your concealer, so y'all don't need me for that. Anyway, so now I fill in the cream contour, cream highlight, um, shenanigans, so... I'm gonna go ahead and um, take this NYX Mineral Stick Foundation, but I got this in the color Caramel. I'm actually gonna bronze with this. On my forehead. That one was a little thick. This is a NYX or NYX Conceal Correct Contour. I'm gonna take the darkest shade in here. And I'm just going to take the foundation brush that I used, and I'm going to use this to contour. I'm going to put it right below. This chin. Sorry guys if you guys couldn't see that. I do kind of get in my zone, you know? And I like to do that. But sometimes I forget I'm recording and I need to stop. Alright, and before we set all that, I do have this um, Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops. I had to read that for a second. It was like in French. Gouttes Luminesse de Tint. I'm just going to take a little bit of this. So a drop of this. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques sponge and just dab it. Is that how you dab? I don't know. I'm going to dab this on above my cheek area where you put highlight. Alright, and I'm going to take a little bit on my forehead. Just a little. You know, just the areas where the sun hits. Alright, so now time to set everything. So I'm going to set my concealer with this Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Cameo. And I'm going to set everywhere I put my concealer at. Ooh, just my mess. Cause your girl was creasing. We're gonna go ahead and go in with the Hula Benefit bronzer and we go and bronze. So next we're going to go ahead and set the highlight and I'm going to use this palette from BH Cosmetics. And guys, I fell in love the first time I used this palette. I definitely recommend this palette for you guys. It's this palette right here. It's called the Spotlight Highlight 6 color palette. Definitely get your hands on it. It's really cheap. It's kind of like a dupe for the Anastasia Glow Kits, I want to say. Look at this is without Fix Plus. Y'all gotta get your hands on this. Like for real though. Let's continue to go zoom you back in and we're gonna go ahead and finish the lower lash line. 
I'm so unorganized. Fuck it, I'm just gonna use this brush on her. No, 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 no. Where is it? Oh, found it. Found it. Found it. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna take the shade Red Ochre and go ahead and go ham on this lash line. And I'm just taking this BH Cosmetics number 10 brush, it's just a real flat shader brush, and really smoke out this lash line. Head and go back into the Modern Renaissance palette, and I kind of want to deepen up this look. So I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber, and take it on the same flat shader brush, and deepen it. Keeping this outer corner. I'm kind of bringing, bringing these eyeshadows pretty low because I really want this to be smoked out. I'm just going to take any mascara and go ahead and coat the lower lash line. And just to, you know, um, brighten up the inner corner and the brow bone, I'm going to go ahead and take the same um, highlighting powder that we used to highlight. Alright guys, now moving on to lips, I'm going to go ahead and take this MAC Stone Lip Liner and line my lips. After I line my lips, I'm going to go in with this Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stone. It's just this really purpley pink liquid lip. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys like the cream contour, if you guys don't, if you guys love it, if you guys hate it. Let me know. Also let me know what you guys want to see next. And with that my love, stay tuned. And I'll definitely go ahead and see you on the next one. Alright. Oh my. So I'm just going to take just a... Uh, Oh. oh my gosh, did you guys see that? I don't know what happened. <laughs> guys, this is like a fucking workout with your like arm and shit. Ow! Shit. Well, I look really golden today. <laughs> Zing, Grace. Maybe I shouldn't sing that. Anna. Fuck, I did it again. We're all in this together. Pop it, look at that. Pop, lock, and drop it. I'm out.